Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry that it took so long to do this video, but I've been really busy and the days that I could film, the lighting was really bad, so I wasn't able to do it. But finally, we're here and we're gonna do this video. I will be very out of breath and I apologize for that, but such is pregnancy. So um, I guess this video, I'll, I'll probably break this into two videos so it's not too long and people could like decide which video they want to watch but I'm also I'm basically gonna talk about the how we found out we got pregnant as well as the first and second trimester of pregnancy so first I'll start out with how we found out we got pregnant uh, this pregnancy was more of a purposeful accident like that's what I call it because it wasn't a surprise but we weren't like like we didn't think it was going to happen basically um, so let's go back to like December uh, when my niece was born and you know most women they have like like a uh, baby brain you know baby fever and stuff like that and I was kind of going through that after my niece was born I was just like oh like you know she's cute and like she makes me want a baby you know I'm, I'm 27 now I just turned 27 but I was 26 at the time and I was just like I want to start thinking about like you know settling down and having kids and stuff and of course me and Bay were talking about it so um we, we we weren't ever preventing it the thing is we never used any form of contraception it was just the pull-out method and um if we were ever unsure like we did like go to plan b and stuff but i can only say the first year is the only time we ever tried any like backup protection like plan b and stuff but like the second third year i was just like whatever if it happens it happens like we weren't being careful and it's just like at this point we need to take responsibility for anything that does happen but the pull-out method was working fine for three years and um we actually tried like a month before like in december when my niece was born I was actually like okay let's try and see what we're gonna like if we can do it or whatnot and like I had my pre like my period tracker and everything my ovulation tracker so I knew when I was ovulating and when I wasn't so and that's kind of what we did hand in hand with the pull-up method to prevent any pregnancy so I used the same system to try to get pregnant and of course I really wanted a girl so I did research and like learn all these like tips and tricks to how to Conce make your chances of conceiving a girl more likely so in December like it was around my ovulation time so we tried and we just did it did it like one or two days so it was um basically the science is if you have sex um three or four days before your ovulation it gives the female sperm a chance to survive longer than the male sperm so we had sex the fourth day and the third day uh, before my ovulation and then um, nothing happened like in January I got my period so we were just like uh, like I was kind of bummed but not bummed like I was bummed because I really wanted a baby but then I was just like you know what this is the message like we need to just focus on like our goals of buying a house getting married and then we'll revisit the baby thing so I remember after getting my period I was talking to baby about it and I was just like I'm kind of sad about it but at the same time, I think that like this is a message that maybe we just need to focus on ourselves right now and getting ourselves good and ready and then the baby will come. So of course he agreed and he's like, yeah, yeah, you're right. So then, uh, go for, later on, my period is over and stuff and then we do the adult thing. And mind you, we had this conversation. He said we should wait. So we do our thing and stuff and then I get up and I'm like, I don't see him leave to clean up and I'm like where did you you know like what happened and he's just like oh uh don't worry about it like you're not even ovulating so it's fine and I was just like like how do you like he like he swears he doesn't say this. he didn't say this but this guy would always track my period like he knows when I get my periods and then he in his mind thinks he's a gynecologist so he thinks he knows when I ovulate so then I would, like it kind of worried me but not really like I checked my period tracker and then um, it told me I would be ovulating in four days so I was kind of like okay well like four days like the chances are slim to none that I would get pregnant yeah and mind you my period before it came like a day or two late and I, I didn't think that it would make a difference maybe it didn't make a difference but whatever anyway so it was a day or two late uh, the month before 
So, um, anyways, I looked at the period tracker and I saw, okay, four days until ovulation, chances are nothing's going to happen. So I was like, all right, fine. I'm like, listen, if this does happen, it's all on you. Because I already told you maybe we should wait. You agreed, but now you want to do this. So if it does happen, it's all on you. And like we were joking about it because we didn't really take it serious. So, okay, this goes out of my head for the next two or so weeks. Two, three weeks. And then, um, yeah, is it two weeks? Yeah, about two weeks or so. And then, um... It was around the time for my period to come on, uh, like in February. So I remember like around Valentine's Day and I was just like, hmm, like my period's supposed to be on today. Like it's supposed to start, but yet it hasn't, you know, like it was, I was kind of like perplexed by it, but I didn't really take it serious because sometimes my period does get, does come late because of stress or like if I'm working out too much or like straining myself, like, so I didn't take it that serious. But mind you, like I was having symptoms. But I thought it was just like pregnancy, I thought it was period symptoms, so it's like, you know, sore breasts, and then I was like, always hungry, and just like, like, tired, but I just thought it was like period symptoms, like, you know, sometimes you get cranky, like your hormones are all out of whack, you get tender breasts, so I didn't think anything of it. So, but then, I remember the day I took the test, and it was like the 17th of February, and uh, that day, I was expecting a shipment at work, and like I was expecting it for a whole week, it never came. So that day, I was like so mad because I'm like, this thing is supposed to be here, like we need it, blah blah blah. And I remember like I was crying about it, and I was just like, what the freak? Like why am I crying? Like I've never been that type of person who's ever emotional on their period. So I was just like, this is kind of weird. Like I'm not normally an emotional person, and definitely not uh, right before my period. So um, I was going out that night for my friend's birthday, we were going out to the club and stuff like that, so I was just like, just to be on the safe side, let me go take a test because I'm like, I, I'm going to be drinking tonight and I'd just rather be safe than sorry kind of thing. So I go, um, I went to run some errands and I kid you not, because I went to the dollar store to pick up some stuff and I just picked up one of the dollar store pregnancy tests because I was just like, whatever, like I'm not about to spend $16 on a test when I already know what the results are. So I went and I bought the test and then I went to my mom's house because she was closer to downtown. So I was like, okay, I'll get ready at my mom's and then I'll go downtown. So um, as I'm at the house, I was just like, I was going to leave to run some errands, but I was like, let me just take the test first and then I'll leave and do whatever I have to do. So then I take the test and you know, normally when you take the test, you pee on it and you sit it on the counter and like, it takes a while for anything, anything that's the Haitian in me, anything to show up. So I remember I peed on the stick and then as I'm putting it on the table, it starts to darken up and I was like, what the fuck? So I put it on the table, I finish doing what I'm doing, I wash my hands and then I pick up the test just like expecting it to say negative and then I see an extra line and I was like, what? Like, I'm like, maybe this test is defective or maybe I'm just like seeing stuff. So then I called my mom into the bathroom because again, I didn't take it serious so I just like called her in. And then I showed her the test and she looks at it and then like she's all happy and like she's like, oh my god, congrats and like hugging me and stuff. And I'm like standing there like, what? <laughs> like, no, I'm expecting you to say no, it's not like positive or whatever. So it was kind of just like weird to me and like, anyways, I left the house to run errands and then I stopped at the drugstore to pick up a real test. So I got the um, clear blue one that told you exactly how many weeks you were, just because I'm like, if I am pregnant, I want to know how far along I am. So I went back to my mom's house, took that test, and again, same thing. The results came immediately. And I remember it was like, I don't remember what the number labels are, but basically it correlated to me being like four weeks pregnant or something. So of course I did the math and I was just like, I knew what day it was, but it was really surreal to me, like even when I went out that night, like I, I still didn't, it didn't register in my head that I was pregnant. So like I just went out with my friend and I was just like, hey, like, you know, I took a pregnancy test and it came back positive and then like of course they were happy and stuff and I was just, I was happy as well, but like I was scared if that makes any sense. Like I was like, it was just weird, like just weird to me and so I was just like, what the hell, like how, well, I know how, but I was just like, yeah, how? So um, I went out, we did our thing, and then I went back home. And then, like, I remember messaging a babe, and I was just like, oh, I have to tell you something. And then, so I went home, and then I changed and stuff. And I, I was in the kitchen, and I was trying to figure out how to tell him. I was like, should I surprise him with it? Like, should I do something cute? Or I'm like, 
But I'm like, but then I was just like, this was, wasn't really something that we had planned. So I was just like, it's not like a, let's do a cute reveal kind of thing. Cause we weren't, um, like trying, trying, like we kind of gave it a shot and just gave up. And then the month that I did actually conceive, we were actually not trying. So, um, I showed him the test. I called him into the kitchen and I showed him the test. And then he like looked at it and walked away. And I think he thought that like I was playing a prank on him or I was tricking him and stuff like that. And I was just like, like, did you, like, he's just like, man, whatever. And then he went back into the room and I was just like, it pissed me off because I was just like, fucking idiot. Like, you're supposed to be jumping up for joy. <laughs> like, even though I was scared shitless, but I was just like, his reaction took me off guard. And now I understand it. It's like, at, in the moment, especially when your hormones are raging, like, I didn't understand it. I thought he was like disappointed and stuff, but it was really, he didn't believe it. So anyways, um... Fast forward to um, my doctor's appointment because even me, like, I still didn't believe it. And I was just like, okay, let me go to the doctor and see, like, if this is really true. Like, because I did have an instance, like, a couple years ago where I had, like, a chemical pregnancy. So I thought maybe it was a chemical pregnancy. So I went to see the doctor, pee, uh, peed in the little cup thing, and then he did the test. He's like, congratulations, you're pregnant. You're about, uh, due to your based on your period you're about five weeks and stuff and i was like oh shit like this is serious and then he's just like congratulations <laughs> i was like yes congratulations like i guess because like they're so used to people coming in and like not wanting a pregnancy and it made for me it was i always wanted to be pregnant it was just shocking that it actually did happen like i thought that it would have taken take me a while to get pregnant especially since i had taken like the depo shot years uh for so many years and like people said, sometimes it takes like a year to get out of your system and blah, blah, blah. And to be honest, I was always one of those people who never really thought I could get pregnant. Don't ask me why. I guess because it was like the three years we were together and we were doing the pull-up method. And I was like, okay, pull-up method and we're still not pregnant. Maybe I can't even get pregnant. So yeah, he was like, congratulations. And I was like, yes, I'm happy. He's like, what do you want? I'm like, I really want a girl. Like, we really want a girl. And he's like, okay. And then like we made the appointments for like my follow-ups and stuff like that. So... Yeah, that, that was pretty much how, like, the I found out I was pregnant. I was scared shitless. My mom was the first one to know, and of course, my sister was at the house as well, so she, she knew. And then I told my friends and then babe. And yeah, that was pretty much it. I didn't really tell anyone I was pregnant until I was about 20 weeks. Of course, if people saw my stomach, because I did start to show around, like, 15 weeks or so. So if people saw my pregnant my belly and they asked me, I would be like, yeah, of course I'm pregnant and blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that story. It wasn't really anything exciting. It's just how I found out I was pregnant. Not a happily ever after story. Well, it is ha happily ever after, but not like your traditional, oh, it was planned and like we were so excited, da, 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 or like your what the fuck, I'm pregnant. Like, I did go through that what the fuck stage because one thing, it's like, it's one thing to want to have a kid and it's another thing when it actually happens because like you're freaking out and then you're like, this shit is real like it's serious now and then it like it starts stressing you out because you're like am i even ready like even because before i thought we were ready because i'm like well we're established and like we have a nice home we have money in the accounts like well not a lot of money in the account we but like we're established and i was just like a child wouldn't really take that much out of our life especially since we have so many family and i have my family close by who are very hands-on so I, I thought that we were perfectly fine and ready to have kids until like it happened and then I started freaking out because I was just like, oh, I don't make enough money or like, oh, maybe we need a bigger house, blah, blah, blah. So like I was freaked out, honestly, for the first trimester. And then after that, um, I just started to get used to the idea of being pregnant and stuff. And yeah, plus the first trimester was horrible for me anyway. So I was just miserable throughout. And I'll talk to you guys about that about in my first and second a trimester video but yeah anyways I'm not going to drag this video on any longer as was promised here's the video and I thank you guys so much for watching if you have any comments or questions or if you want to share your own uh, pregnancy stories leave the comments down below and until next time bye